Odoo CRM tutorial. How to use Odoo for CRM. Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the channel. Thank you for joining us. Today we're having a look at Odoo CRM. And if you have signed up, this is what your page will look like. Basically, they just need some basic information, who you are, what you're about, what you're going to be using the platform for. And they ask you for a company name and then they land you right over here. So over here, you can see that you can access a discuss tab, a calendar contacts, your CRM, your general dashboard, some apps that you can install to integrate and use on Odoo and then also all the settings of your profile. So we're going to jump straight into the CRM right over here, as you can see, and we are going to open that up. Now, if you're not familiar, Odoo CRM will help you to organize your sales activities, as you can see right over here on this page, so we can go through different stages. It also allows you to track your leads, close your opportunities. It also allows you to get accurate forecasts that are up to date it also allows you to keep opportunities organized in its different stages as you can see here from new leads to qualified leads to propositions and to leads that have been closed and won customers that are happy and then you can also manage your pipeline manage your day-to-day -day activities you can also share this with all your team members you can also add members remove members and you can communicate with them all on this one platform and you can basically manage all of your leads straight from here so going straight into the page over here so going straight into this page over here, the first thing you want to have a look at is on the right hand side, you can change the way it is displayed. So you can either have it in this Kanban view, you can also have it in a list, you can have it in a calendar form. So if you're having maybe different jobs or different opportunities on different days of the calendar month, you can have that view over there. And then also you can change it into a pivot, you can use graphs, you can also use a map layout and also an activity layout. So once you've defined how you want to actually view all of this, then you can actually be able to work with it better if it works better for you. This is a fantastic way because it shows you the entire timeline as to what is actually happening in your company with your leads. On the top left hand side, you will see that you have sales tab and this basically is where you can view your pipeline, your activities, all of your team members and also all of your customers. Moving over to reporting, you can now see your forecast, your pipeline, your leads and your activities reports. So this is all your analytics you want to view. You can see that right over there. And then we move over to configuration and right over here, you can now see that you can configure the settings of your profile. That means all of your company details. You can also configure your sales teams, your activity types, your pipeline tags, lost reasons and your lead mining requests. So this is a lead generation option that they have and you can actually mine leads. So once you have gone through that and you've done all of that configuration, you can go up to the top left hand side and you can see that there is a new and there is a generate leads icon. So this is two ways of creating or generating leads so first of all we're going to tap on the generate leads now once you tap on that it gives you the opportunity to generate leads now there are a lot of platforms that charge a lot of money for you to get this information however this is completely free so the first thing you want to have a look at is right over here it says what do you need now just for example sake i'm going to put in there the amount of companies that i need so by default it is on three and right over here, you can tap that and it says, do you need companies or do you need companies and their contacts? Now, what we can do is depending on what your business is, if you're dealing directly with companies or you're dealing through companies, 
and you need their contacts, you can choose any which one of those. For now, we're gonna go into companies because we want to provide a service to a company directly. Then you can also define what country or what region you want these companies to be in. So you can just close that. You can put in whatever it is that you would like here. So let's just say, for example, we want uh, United States of America and we can just tap on US and you can see here, you can also pick the states that you actually want to target. So if depending on what type of business you have or what type of business you do, then you maybe want to change the state that you actually are going to be operating in. I'm not going to choose a state. Then you have the industry. Now, depending on who your clients are, what industry you want to deal with, then this is where you pick the industry. So for example, a photography company, like for the example I'm using, I'm looking for media companies. So we're looking at anything that will involve media. And then we can also tap on this filter on size. So we can say, this company should have from one to 1000 employees, or we can just change that to whatever we want. We can just tap on that and you can edit it right over there. So coming out of there on the right hand side, you'll see a sales team. And right over here, you can define exactly who you want to be targeting within that company. Then also, you can see that there is a salesperson and that is currently me and there is no other members in this team right now. However, it will show on this drop down list and you can select the salesperson assigned to this lead. Then you have tags that you can add in there as well. So you can type in whatever it is that you want. And once you start typing, it'll come up if it doesn't come up, you can then just tap on create SMS and that'll be a tag assigned to this lead that you are generating. Now, you may want to assign tags for many different reasons, but for now, we are just going to keep the SMS over there. So maybe that's the primary way of communication. Once you're done, you can go down to generate leads and you can just tap on that and it'll now generate some leads for you. As you can see on the left hand side over here, there are three companies that they've just given you. Of course, right over here, now you can take these leads and you can start communicating with them and you can take them from this stage over here, the new stage to the qualified, to the proposition and then to the one. You can also prioritize the type of company or the type of lead right over here so that is either medium high or very high and right over here you can also show the activity within this company the three dots will allow you to assign a different color to each company so maybe you want to define different companies in different categories you can do this just by using that specific color chart and you can maybe assign different colors to different companies or different groups of companies. The next thing we're going to have a look at is having the company added manually. So we're going to go back to the CRM page. We're going to go jump straight back into the CRM and over here on the top left hand side, you can see it says new and we're going to tap that over there. Now let us say that we know the company's name and the details unlike the generating leads section where you're actually generating leads so you may not actually have any initial contact with the company yet this opportunity gives you the opportunity to enter in a company name here so let's just choose one from the list for example sake however you may actually know the company name that you want to deal with so over here it says warren media um, and we're going to just tap on that and i'm using this strictly as an example as you can see here now you can either have the warren media profile as a company or an individual and then as you travel down here it'll give you some details you can enter the address you can enter the tax id phone number mobile email address website and a bunch of tags if you would like to add in some tags you can also then as you go down you 
can change the sales and purchase and you can also add internal notes for now we are going to just say save and close and once you've done that you can see now that we have actually created this new lead so organization opportunity email phone number and then we get right at the bottom the expected revenue now let's say we know how much we're actually going to be dealing with over here so this is more or less what we expect and we can then just say add and as you can see now we have created a warren's media opportunity you can see the expected revenue again you can prioritize and you can also view all the activity on this opportunity now let us say that we have now qualified this opportunity we know that we have taken it to the next stage we can now click down and you can just move over and we can then place it in the qualified section over here. Now you can see also that this amount over here has changed. So this is due to this amount right over here that we've entered. So another thing that you would maybe like to do is there are quick add buttons on all of these sections. So right over here, you can see that there is a plus sign. So now you can add a new, a qualified a proposition and a one opportunity right over here, wherever you need, it does not need to go through the process. Once we have done this, we can then presume that we have taken it over to the next stage and we can now move it over to the proposition. And you can see now that this number again has changed. And in the process, this daily Maverick, we can see that it has been closed and we have won that deal and we can now move it over to the one and then it says boom team record for the past 30 minutes and so forth so basically what you can do here is you can manage all of your opportunities coming in and closing another thing that you can do is the titles over here you may want to change so if you hold your cursor here you will see a little gear icon and you can then just say edit and now you can define the name of that section you can also define if it's a one stage if it's folded in the pipeline and over there if you're unfamiliar it says this stage is folded in the kanban view when there are no records in that stage to display so you can put that on and then you can also enter some special requirements and once you're done you can just tap on save and close now let's say perhaps there is another stage in this process over here if we scroll all the way to the right hand side you can see that there is a plus sign and a stage and you can add a column right over there again you can give it a name so this is the name of the stage and then you can just tap on add and it'll give you that new stage over there again the gear icon you can tap on edit and now you can define everything about this stage so if you perhaps want to move this stage up into this timeline you can then just tap down on the name and you can drag it wherever you need so let's say that there is an opportunity after you have gotten an order in or after you have gotten your proposition you can then add a new one and let's say your customers come to you and they said you know I, I love what you did and I love the services that you provided I want to do it again so instead of creating the entire thing all together we can just have a look at this over here and we can then create a new one on this new stage and we can name the stage whatever we want we can name it re return customer and you know we can then again in the gear cog we can change all the bits and pieces of that stage and once you have done that then you know what is actually going on on this timeline and you can manage all of your opportunities right here Another thing is, you know, if you are managing a team or if you are a member of a team, right over here, you can see it says my pipeline. Now, this is a filter that's been entered in here by default. However, you by default will be able to view every opportunity or every lead that is generated that you yourself 
create now let us say perhaps you want to see somebody else's that you have access to you can just tap over here you can then search the team member that you want to view and you can close the my pipeline so that it's not filtered just by your pipeline you can see then you can also search by pipeline unassigned different opportunities creation date close date one lost and you can also search by different groups right over here so you can define all of that all in one place and you can then see everything you need right in one screen i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to leave us a like if you like the content that we put out don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching cheers